Episode 15 of Kilauea's Summit Eruption has ended at 1910 or 710 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time on the 26th of March 2025 with over 30 hours of eruption of which 22 hours were rise and fall cycles of the lava lake caused by expanding and release of gases near the surface. And then after 10 in the morning of the 26th of March, the eruption style has changed from lava lake level rising up and down to high lava fountains for nearly nine hours. High lava fountains reach as high as 1,000 feet or 330 meters from 1015 to noon. There were some instances, however, where the lava fountains reach as high as 1,200 feet or 350 meters, just as you see here. This could be caused by a partial blockage below the vents, coupled with higher pressure similar to partially covering the end of a water hose with your finger so that the water would go farther. For scale, the height of the crater wall from floor to the top is around 600 feet or 180 meters. Here you can see the elevation contours on this map on the cliff in intervals of 100 feet or 30 meters on the southwest part of Hale Mau Mau Crater where the vents are located. Lava covered nearly 90% of the crater floor of Hale Mau Mau. This episode, as well as episode 14, is a departure from previous episodes, with eruptions starting off with nearly a day of constant rise and drain of lava in the vents, followed by intense lava fountaining. In fact, the high lava fountains of episode 15 were the highest recorded inside Hale Mau Mau Crater to date. Tifra was also seen falling on the V1 cam. The eruption caused a 9 microradian loss due to deflation after the eruption started. However, inflation started immediately after the eruption ended. One thing is noticeable is that no glow could be seen inside both of the vents. This could be that the vents are blocked or the lava retreated at a greater depth. Based on current inflation rates, episode 16 may start anywhere between the 31st of March and the 4th of April 2025, or it may stop altogether 